What's going on guys? I got another top five, not ten, not seven, but five. Now, to some of you this may be the millionth time I've said that, or it is the first. If it's the first, click it down in the description for the other two, and of course you click on this one because you're seeing Warlock Bonds. The other two just may well be the Hunter Cloaks and the Titan Marks. Now either wait to the end of the video and click on them from there, or scroll down just a little bit and click on the links. So something to get out of the way. I see things differently. I have different ways. I think some things look great. I think other things look terrible. And for you, they may be flopped. But this is a top five that I think are worthy of the list. So starting in at number five, we have the Faction Bonds. Real original, I know. It's lazy of me, but it's true. A lot of you wear it, and a lot of you show it about your own way and most people actually do use them and there's a good reason for that it's good you look fine and you just may well want to be leveling up your faction at number four we have the fragment of the prime now vault glass has a special place in my heart mostly because it's just good and it also puts out very nice looking pieces of armor for example the fragment of the prime it's something i always use in my warlock partially because it's the only thing i really do have but other than that it actually looks good, and I like to show it off, saying, hey, I've been there, even though the majority of people that still play have been there. But, it's still a good looking bond. At number three, we have the new Iron Banner. I say new because the old one was just a little circlet. This one is a little bit better. So it seems to be Warlocks are moving towards the holographic type things. Uh, I don't know, it just seems to me to be that way. There's been a lot of them, and these next three actually are holographic. I don't mean to really spoil it, but something's kind of obvious. The holographics look good, and Iron Banner is just one of the things that really do back that up. At number two, we have the Bond of the Exile, which is the Trials of Osiris Bond. And this one is also a hologram, as I previously established. This one, I think, is at number two because for what it symbolizes. It symbolizes you are a Trials of Osiris veteran, or you're just lucky. But you could also have earned it. Like I hope you did. And you're showing it off saying, hey, I do Trials of Osiris and I'm good at it. Kind of what most people would wear it for. On top of that, it also looks good aesthetically. It's got a sun, it's got some nice colors, and it goes great with the rest of the gear. As it probably should be, because that is the whole entire outfit. And at number one, we have the Spirit of the Vulture. Now this one came to me by my friend because he, one day, a long time ago, way back in the ancient times of destiny, he was like, dude, look at my arm. And I was like, what the hell? There's a freaking eagle on it. It's like, yeah. And guess what? It also changes colors depending on the time of the day. Not sure, but it seems to be changing from blue to purple, yellow, I don't know, green, some other things. But that's pretty cool. Some other bonds do that, but this one's the original. It's also sold by the speaker, so if you want it, go get it. But anyway, guys, that's been it for me. If you want to see more, there's the Hunter Cloaks and the Titan Marks. You can click there for the Hunter and there for the Titan. I'll leave you guys with those videos. But as for me, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, farewell.